Alright, what is up? This is Slow Playthroughs. Back some more Ocarina of Time 3, the Hero Lock Challenge. So, in the last episode, all we did was finally leave and depart the Kokiri Forest, obtain our fairy ocarina from Soraya, and venture through the uh, world of Hyrule, basically. So, we went through Hyrule Field, went to Hyrule Castle, met Princess Zelda, got the letter from her, and was escorted out by uh, Sheik. So, or Impa, sorry, not Sheik. But yeah, Impa, and uh, yeah, we're basically back at our house. Um, what we actually have to do is get Soraya's song. So what we're going to do right now is actually leave this place, and we're going to go get it. We're going to obtain this beautiful theme, which is just amazing. And uh, shit, it's night right now. I don't know if that's going to really uh, hinder us from doing this, but we're going to try it anyways. Uh, where is... Shit. I don't know where... We're the places i think it's over here maybe yeah yeah it's over here okay we gotta go to lost woods and i have no idea where that really is right now because everything is all opposite i'm all distorted right now please help me god no oh, yeah how's everyone doing today today's a fine relaxing sunday right now for me and uh decided Let's play some Ocarina of Time because I felt the urge to do that. Um, also, the uh, hold up. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's not right. We're not going the right way. Yeah, Mario Luigi Dream Team will be continuing very soon. So if you guys, uh, you guys want to see that, I got you. I got you. Um, I think we can like shoot this right. Alright, did we get something? Give me a prize, bro. Yeah, Mario Luigi Dream Team is going to be continued very soon. Right now, I've been playing the shit out of that game. And, yeah, I'm pretty excited to start that back up. We're going to have our next boss battle probably tomorrow or maybe later today. We'll see. But uh, this video will be out first. So, uh, what does this guy say? Cool, you're great. You scored three per perfect bullseyes. I have to give you a neat present to such a wonderful person. Please take it. Sorry, my, there was a glare on my 3DS. Couldn't really read that. Yay! We got a bag. You got a big Deku seed bullet bag. Can hoard up to the 40 freaking shots. Badass. Okay, so we need to go where the theme song is very loud. Oh, shit. No, please. No. God, no. Please, no. Yes, I know where the Sacred Forest Meadow is. No, shut your mouth, bro. Leave. Get out of here. Go. Swear to God, I'm so tired of that dude. Okay, yeah, that's not it. Alright, looking like we're doing pretty good so far. Uh, we can't actually swim. I'm not gonna lie. I can't swim in this game. <laughs> I mean, you can, but you can't dive. <laughs> Stop judging me! It's not my fault. No. No. Yes! Alright, we're almost out. Um. Right here, no. Yes! We did it! Okay. So here is the Sacred Forest Meadow. Uh, this is basically just crazy and stuff. I wish it was morning. Alright, so we got a wolf here. I'm just jumping around like a dumbass. Ugh. Ow. Did he hit me? No, he didn't. I hit him. <laughs> he was going in the wall. Poor wolf. He didn't have any chance at all. Alright, so we're going to have to actually go through this part right here, which kind of sucks. Um... I think that's yeah we got some rupees oh god these dudes please oh shit he actually hit me jerk die mother freaking effer all right so it looks like we can get some money in here but i'm kind of maxed out so i really don't need it gotcha these dudes are so stupid I remember going through this first time, I was like, oh, okay, this is, this is not too bad. And then in the future, whenever you're adult, like, you have to fight those giant-ass goblin dudes. Oh my god, that was like the worst experience ever. 
I would always like shit my pants when I first saw that. Die! Right, what's over here? Nothing. Okay, I think we can actually take a shortcut. Ow! Whatever. I, I don't even have to kill these dudes. I can just skip the hell out of them. Like, screw them. Who needs to fight these jerks? Ow. Maybe I should have fought them so I wouldn't die. I'm already going to end this hero lock right now because I already lost. So that's what happens when you second video games. Look who it is. So we got the forest temple right here. It's pretty cool because it's got like trees and is old and stuff. So yeah. Hey, it's the person that we said bye to. Not really. We kind of just faded out there. Hey, she's got the same ocarina. I've been waiting for you, Slow. Oh, God. This is the Sacred Forest Meadow. It's my secret place. Oh, shit. I feel this place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. If you play the ocarina with me, I can teach you to talk with the spirits in the forest. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? Uh, sure. Okay, try to follow along with the melody I play. Are you ready? That is some beautiful music. All right, so we got R, Y, X. So that's basically all you do. So Got some leaves in the background. Great, great. Please don't forget this song. Do you promise? When you want to hear my voice, place a rise song. You can talk with me anytime. Why are all these girls like making me promise this crap? Jesus Christ. Is that what they're all about in this game? Promising? Jesus, man. I can't do nothing in my house. <laughs> Alright, but we learned Soraya's song, so that's really, really cool because this is a beautiful theme. And uh, it's going to help us on our journey. So, if I get my ocarina out, we'd be like, be like best friends playing. Be like, uh, 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 uh. So basically this doesn't really have much of a use, mainly just for like the Gorons or whatever. I think there's much more. Oh, also you can talk to Sarai with that, but. Yes. So, uh, yeah, that's basically going to do it for this little part right here. And uh, I'm trying to think, what else can we do? I think we can get some more music right now. So uh, we're going to go to Kakariko Forest, actually. Or forest, not sorry, not the forest. Um... Village, the village, Kakariko Village, and we're going to go to the graveyard and hopefully obtain the Sun Song. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut over to uh, the entrance of Kakariko uh, Village so that we don't really have to go through all this crap. So see you guys there. All right, guys. Well, that was just having some fun with that... Uh, that little part right there if you know what I mean but yeah we're gonna go ahead and swim over here to Kakariko village because it's finally morning and I feel like I don't want to waste too much time because I don't want it to get dark as I'm trying to go there and you know how this game is with uh, going dark pretty quickly pretty bullshit if you know what I mean but yeah we're just gonna head on over here I think it's actually okay I thought it was actually turning dark already I was like this is the sun setting what the shit man it's way too quickly but here we are Kakariko Village, beautiful, just beautiful. I remember when I first uh, saw this, I would always like make references to like Dragon Ball Z. Like instead of Hyrule Fields, we'd call it Hercule Fields, and uh, Kakariko Village, we'd call it Kakarot Village, and uh, Goron City, we'd call it Gohan City. Yeah, good, good times. All right, let's talk to this dude. I'm the boss of the Carpenters. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This dude's just an idiot. Shut up. Alright, so what we're going to do is go over to the graveyard and obtain the Sun Song because the Sun Song is going to be very beneficial and it's going to take a lot of the uh, annoyance off of us, like having to wait until it's morning and night every single fucking time, which really sucks, but I'm getting so thrown off by the opposite, like, areas, it's, it's really confusing. 
discombobulating my freaking face. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're here. We're here. Ah! 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 All right. I'm scared. Sorry. All right. So we have the graveyard right here. It's going on. And... Gonna get some DQ seeds. All right. Cool. What the hell? I want to get that. Looks like we got some pictures of a shovel. Okay. Shovel Knights. You guys you guys know all about that Shovel Knights, you know? Uh, I think that's a little house right there. This little house? No. Let's say uh, fireplace kind of thing. Uh, here's this little annoying kid. Little kids can't go on the heart-pounding grave-digging tour described on the sign. Since I can't do that, I'm just imitating Dompe the Gravekeeper all day. But with my cute face, I'm not heart pounding at all, am I? So yeah, he's just like talking a bunch of stupid crap about trying to be Dompe or whatever. He can't be the great Dompe. Dompe gives you the freaking hook shot, man. Um, so the Sun Song, I believe it is over here. Basically, what you do is you just get out your whip out that ocarina and you gotta play some uh, some of those songs. But actually, let's switch over to the bottom screen real quick to show off uh, the cool thing that they implemented. In, in, sorry, implemented into this game. Uh, Basically, they have like little images every time you want to look at each song, which is really, really cool. I mean, it's just a little thing, but I always like found that really, really awesome. But yeah, here's Zelda's Lullaby, so we just go X, A, Y, X, A, Y. It's going to get some time to get used to this stuff, just because I'm so used to the Nintendo 64 version, which I'm really regretting I should have played that one because it's just so much better, but... I do not have, I need to get like a capture card that can capture any system, like the NES, the Nintendo 64, and everything, because I want to use like the original controller. But basically you play that song, and for some reason it activates some creepy shit, man. Like, it's, it's pretty scary. Boom, look at that. That was pretty creepy. So, uh... I guess we just jump in here. Royal Family's Tomb. So this is a scary place right here. Okay. Alright, looks like we're locked in. Uh, I think we just gotta kill all the enemies. So we got ourselves a little Batman right here. Uh, a few more. My aim sucks. How many are there? Like four? I did it! <clears throat> Excellent. Um, I'm thinking... Are those lit? No, they're not. How do you light those? Alright, whatever. I guess we don't really have to worry about that. Uh, this part always scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. I was like, what is this green crap? Like, I remember I stepped in it and I got hurt. I was like, oh shit, that's not good. Um, so basically we got some, uh, some of these dudes. They're called Redead, so I don't like them very much. So I'm just gonna try to skip them. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! No, no, no! <laughs> They're very hard to kill. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought they were really hard. What's going on? They used to be extremely difficult to, like, freaking kill. But I guess we did pretty well. Alright, so we go over here and we talk to this thing and it says, This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. So we're just like looking around and then, The rising sun will eventually set. A newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun, Give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something else is inscribed on the tombstone. It's a secret melody of the composer brothers. So this is the sun song. So it says, keep the sun song in your heart. All right. You've learned the sun song. 
excuse me, my throat is like killing me right now. I don't know why. Restless souls wander where the, they don't belong. Bring them calm with the sun song. Oh, that's a nice poem. <coughs> excuse me, sorry. But yeah, um, we learned the sun song. Sun song is really cool because it's like sun and happiness. So basically what you can do is you can fuck with these re-deads and just play it. Check this out. So you do that and it like petrifies them. They turn into like white stone kind of things, but not really. They're not like that forever. I think if you hit them, it like releases that stunning ability, but I thought it was always pretty cool and it's really, really good because I'm scared to shit of those guys. Those guys like really always crap my pants when I'm around them. So let's go ahead and release ourselves from this area. Um, oh shit. What is this guy doing here? Yeah, these guys look like Mario and Luigi as well, but we have no need for them. Uh, they basically just turn into pose whenever you kill them. But again, we don't, we're not going to need that because we have no bottles. Oh, there's our man Dompe. What's up, bro? Hey, kid, don't mess around with the graves. I'm Dompe, the gravekeeper. My face may be scary, but I'm not a bad guy. Let me give you an advertisement for my side business. Dompe the Gravekeeper's heart-pounding grave-digging tour. What's going to come out? What's going to come out? When I start digging, we'll find out. Do you want to dig here? Ten rupees for one hole. Sure, we'll try it out. See what we get. Hopefully, it's like a cool prize, maybe. Oh! Oh! Look at that! We just lost nine rupees. Excellent. But, uh... I think it would be a good idea for us to go ahead and uh, get that... Hylian shield. Where is that one? I'm trying to think. Apparently, uh, I could not find out where the Hylian shield was, so I had to just look it up. Um, I think it's in... I want to say this one, the second one, because everything's flipped, so that's why it kind of confused me. No, it's not that one. Okay. Uh, could it be this one? Could be this one. Yes, it is. I think it's always because it has, like, the flowers there, so... Drop in here. We're actually going to obtain the Highland Shield just in case because I don't want to burn this shield. Like, I don't want this one to get burned. So, uh, let's check in here. See what we get. Yes, it is the Highland Shield. Okay, so we don't have to spend, like, 80 rupees on one. Um, we cannot enter that area because we don't got bombs yet. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over to the bottom screen real quick. Go into the gear. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... A big shield, just like the Hylian Knights use. It's light, sturdy, and can stand up to flame attacks. So, that is really beneficial for us. Um, it's going to be really helpful. So, yeah. And we look cool with the freaking Hylian shield. Looks awesome. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get a heart piece. I'm pretty sure a heart piece is somewhere over here. But, I think I might get that later. So, we'll save that until next time. I'm going to go ahead and cut over to uh, the entrance of Kakariko Village. So, that we can get the... Uh, guard to open it up for us and we can go through death mountain so see you guys there all right so we have made it to the entrance of death mountain you talk to this guy he says the road is closed beyond this point can't you read the sign over there all right so he says i'm a kid or whatever i don't know what, what that has to do with anything i could shove my sword up his ass and he would be dead but yeah let's go ahead and show this shit to him Oh, this is. This is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Hmm, okay. This is slow. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. Wah! <laughs> what kind of funny game has a princess come up with now? Okay, okay, all right. You can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. <laughs> he's going to regret those words whenever he's dead in about seven years, if you know what I mean. All right. By the way, Mr. Hero, if you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should... You should equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Market, you can check out the bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Tell them I sent you, and they should give you a special discount. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. I'd like to ask a favor of you. No, I don't expect you to do it just because of the great tip I just gave you. I'm just asking. Okay, so basically he's just talking about the happy mask salesman. He's got a son, and he wants me to go get it for him or whatever, like a mask. But as you can see, I'm already... Well equipped with this amazing, beautiful Hylian shield. Or is it Hylian? Hylian or Hylian? I'm going to say Hylian because it's much easier. So, here we are at Death Mountain Trail. This is some scary stuff right here because volcanoes go boom. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can't believe in, like, the original Zelda. Uh, Death Mountain was, like, the main 
That was like the final area. And these things, I used to call them Tekatites, even though they're called Tektites. I don't know why, I'm stupid or something. But yeah, they're pretty fun to just kill, because it's awesome. Uh, there is the Dodongo's Cavern. We can't actually go in there just yet. That's going to be probably next episode, because uh, I'll dedicate... Once again, I'm going to dedicate each episode that I do... Or, sorry, opposite. Each dungeon I do to one full episode. So, uh, right now we're just kind of doing the uh, intermission of the game. Oh shit, this guy's trying to kill me. Uh, just like the small thing. So, we're going to head over to Goron City... Yes, yes. And actually, before that, can we get, uh... Oh, wait, yeah, we need it. Yeah, okay. I always get confused because I, I think I can pick up the bomb flower, but I can't because you need the, uh... Goron bracelet or whatever it's called. So that you can do it, which is kind of silly, but... Here we are at Goron City. Pretty cool. We got these Gorons, which are like these rock-eating dinosaur things. I don't even know what they are. Oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from hunger because of the food shortage in this town. We are in danger of extinction. It's all because we can't enter our quarry, the Dongo's Cavern. We Gorons live on a diet of rocks. And you know what the most funny thing is about this? This is hilarious. What am I standing on? What is the wall made of? Fucking rocks. What the hell? There are rocks right here that you could eat. Alright, Paul just wrote minor cut. Huge noise in the background. I think something just like exploded in my house. I don't know what that was, but yeah, I didn't want that to be in the video, so I apologize for that. Um, we're actually going to go ahead and head down here and play, uh, I think it's Zelda's Lullaby. Yeah, pretty sure it is. If it's not, then I'm screwed. Such a beautiful tone, man. But yeah, there's literally rocks everywhere, so if they're bitching and complaining like, oh, we don't got food, like, I think they have some kind of mental issue. Like, I I'm, I'm serious. Like, there's no reason. Alright, so here is Darmania. I think that's his name. What up? So let's talk to him. What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived. But you're just a little kid. Has Darunia, sorry, Darunia, the big boss of the Gor Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face. Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures have infested Zango's cavern. Yes, 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 we know. So, they got some big issues. Like, I mean, they're, they're horrible. So, we're going to go ahead and play Sarai's song right here to cheer this dude up. Oops, that's the wrong one. No, I'm not trying to get that out. What the hell? Alright. There we go. Lighten up, bro. You need to loosen up. You're a little too tense with this stupid Goron shit, okay? Holy crap. So, right now, he's definitely going ape shit over something. I don't know. Could, it could have been the song, maybe. Don't ask me. So he's like, oh, 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 yes. Come on. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Hot, hot. What a hot beat. Look, he's on fire. What the hell? Whoa. Yeah. Yahoo. Look at me. I'm just like scared shitless. Like, look at my face. I don't even, I can't even see my face. So he had his little joy laugh and everything hey what a nice tune just like that my depression is all gone something just came over me i suddenly wanted to dance like crazy i'm darunia i'm the big boss of the gorons yes okay we know that you want the spiritual stone of fire too yes we know it's your hidden thing okay okay so he wants us to destroy the monsters inside the dongo's cavern and prove that we're a real man all right so we got some uh, elfman stuff right here if you know know what i'm talking about okay maybe not i don't know but yeah so he gives us the Goron's Bracelet. So now we can pick up bomb flowers and actually lift grass out of the ground. If you can believe it. We could pick up rocks, but we could not lift grass out of the floor. Nintendo, what the fuck, man? What are you doing? So now we can actually go back out, head outside. Um, I'm actually going to get some Deku sticks and a uh, heart right there. So that's all good. Uh, where is the outside? I don't even know how to get outside. Pretty sure you just climb up the stairway. But yeah, as you can see, we can pick up bomb flowers now. Oh, yes. Excellent. Blow everything up. I don't care. 
Okay, so all the way at the top, we can actually go back out from the uh, entrance and exit. But first, first, what we can do is actually, um, I think it'd be wise to open up that one entrance over there for uh, Soraya's place. So let's go ahead and get our butts over there. Remember, you got to be nice and slow. Got to be like me, slow play, slow playthroughs, man. This is how I do it. This is how the, this is how the gamers do it, man. Um, what the hell? Is this it? Is this the place that has the, uh... No, that's not it. It's somewhere over here. Alright, I'm gonna make it my life's mission to freaking find this area. It's one entrance, or exit, not really. But, we can actually blow all this stuff up right here. Oh shit, whoa, dude, relax. Don't gotta be squashing people, you know? Yeah, I think that just leads to, like, another area that we're, we don't really need to enter yet. Um, yeah, we gotta find Soraya's place. The uh, Lost Woods or whatever, so that we can actually blow it up. Oh, crap. Should be... Hmm. It's somewhere. I have no idea where it would be. Are we on the top floor? Yes, we are. Okay, well... I'll look for it later, and I'll just blow it up later. We don't actually have to do it right now, this, like, very minute. But let's go ahead and do what I said we were going to do about, like, three or four minutes ago. But, yeah. Death Mountain Trail. Here we are in this nighttime area. Yeah. I always hated how, like, only certain areas can turn night. But, yeah. Basically, what you do, you just get this bomb flower, and you go, hello, and you just drop it down there. Well, not like that. Because my aim just completely sucks. Uh, where is it? Oh. Why is that not doing the trick? Come on. This is annoying. Why is it not doing it? It's because it's at an angle. It's at a fucking angle. I'm going to have to do it from like a different area. Yeah, that's obviously not going to do it. <laughs> this is the hardest part of the game, guys. Trying to freaking put a drop a bomb down there to blow it up. Hey, we did it. After about seven years, we actually did it. Okay, guys. So, there we go. We have actually unlocked this area. So, I'm just going to drop down because I could care less about my health. So, let's just do it. Oh shit, that hurt. So uh, yeah, in the next episode, we'll be taking on the Dongo's Cavern and uh, hopefully beating it without ruining this hero lock. So thank you all so much for watching. Talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.